I just might make a connection with the person. So again, this is an energetic, kind of more like a yin energetic connection spot. You know, your fingers are more pointy. They're more like, you know, but, but here is very important for connection. So I just, just let him breathe. And, and his belly, of course, is, a, you know, it's a very important uh, energetic spot as well. So. What's the sort of plexus chakra? So that's the self. Yeah. So you're connected with that. Connecting, it's just like, because, you know, everything's been busy. We've all been getting here and that sort of thing. So I'm just sort of, you know, when I breathe, make sure you're not breathing on his, especially his face. So it's just a, a little, and I might just move that around a little bit. It's more like saying, hi Dave, you know. And, and, but also connecting with here, not just the mental, you know. The, so it's, and it's more, it's like I acknowledge you, you know. And we could do some gentle shaping. And immediately we can see he's got a good, he's got a pretty good breath. You know, he's not a shallow breather. He's able right away to breathe into his belly. Okay. So that's a really good sign. <sighs> and it's a time for me to also just, you know, start to come inside myself. If I've been busy with it, you know, <laughs> getting everything organized. So I'm just sort of. But again, making sure I'm not breathing on him. Okay. So just like a little connection. Do you think about protecting your own energy at this point? So yeah. You can't take as well. Yeah, I can, you know. But mostly it's just like connecting, because I know Dave pretty well, and I know that, you know, I don't feel like I'm so going to just move your arms down here, if that's okay. And another thing I often like to do just to start, even before I get into the, the head massage, is just a little bit of thumb pressure across the top of the shoulders. And even into his neck a little bit. Big breath. Again, we're getting that <clears throat> really good releasing breath. And again, one good way not to pick up energy is make sure you're not in his out breath. If he wants to get rid of that, we don't want to pick it up. And I can feel a lot moving just from this. <clears throat> And then I'm just going to let him breathe and just feel that breath going all the way from his belly. So again, we've got what we call the Shishuna in Ayurveda, which is the, the, basically a channel that connects all the chakras. Yeah? And that's what I'm looking at opening here with the breath. And then this area, like I said, is part of that, you know, the third eye chakra. Right? I'm just going to straighten this up there. And one more. So we clean out whatever we can with just using his breath and some gentle shaking. Take off that first layer. Okay, so it's about layers, you know. Like they say in Shrek, you know, the onion. <laughs> I bet you guys saw that. It's so good. <laughs> so I'm going to start now here. And again, just feeling this very important area here. Not too hard, can be quite tight on a lot of people, so I'm just going in medium pressure. Pressure's okay, Dave? 
And I can also do this where I'm holding this spot up with my right hand and my left going around the sinuses. bit deeper. I'm just keeping my pace fairly slow at the, trying to tune into his breath so that I'm not stirring up more than what his breath can release. And also, if you work with the breath, the breath gradually puts that person into a deeper state of consciousness. So we don't want to do jarring moves that are going to constantly have him tightening up against me. Right? We want to sense as much as possible. We're better off, especially when we first start, not going too hard so that he's not going to tighten up against me. So again, like I was talking about, we're pulling the energy this way, but we also pull it that way. And then we can work across the forehead. And starting to feel how tight he is in these spots here. Okay, just above the ears. And he's holding some stuff in here. But again, not too hard where, you, where he's tightening up. It can be a painful area. And then just coming into the scalp. You can see here I'm leaning my body weight into these points. And it feels a lot better than just pushing. <sighs> again, always making sure if you're, you know, it's good for you to any energy you pick up to just move, but don't breathe on the person. This is a really important spot right here as well. So I'm just holding that, I'm gonna let him breathe. And I'm holding two thumbs, so it's basically in, a, in alignment with this, which is basically the inner, the big toe belly band even though technically you can't say it goes through here, but energetically it does. And then it, it joins actually with the big toe sacrum band in one continuous. And now what I'm gonna do is this technique here, where I'm actually projecting energy through this point of the trident into these spots here. And, and to start with, quite gently, finding those spots and then moving his head side to side. Finding those spots on him. Yeah, so they're energetic, and, but I'm projecting the energy right into the middle of his brain. And any energy that's tight, getting him to breathe that, breathe it out. And then rocking. Gentle rocking always just helps with the movement because we're always looking at how to unblock like the subtle energies in the body. So my pointer finger is the point and the supported. So it also helps physically because it gives more strength, but it's actually an energy. All that energy is combined into, into that. And then I'm creating like a force field in the middle, right in the core of his brain. And I'll come back and I'll do these techniques multiple times as I'm gradually unlocking <clears throat> the flow of energy to his head. Now I'm going in a bit deeper. Again, either side of the midline. And then just going to have a feel through here. And you can see, you hear that breath, is a, is a breath of him going into a, just a deeper state of relaxation, yeah.
The pace at which you work is very important too. The slower generally that you work, the more likely you are to make the person settle, okay? So don't, don't be in like a, a frantic or a rushed frame of mind when you massage. When I learned early on, uh, I spent a fair bit of time working with Japanese Zen Shiatsu practitioners and they said Westerners almost always work way too fast. When you think about like Zen, you think about like the awareness of, of holding a cup. And, and when you actually practice like that, it, it puts the person into a much more relaxed state. <sighs> okay, so, ears a bit deeper this time, holding pressure points, and pulling and squeezing the ears. I'm just going to get you to open your jaw a little bit, okay? So I come from almost near the ears when I'm working the jaw. And this is so such an important area. You really want to get in and feel. See how close I am there to the ears? Okay, that's the TMJ, temporal mandibular joint. And I really want to feel the tension that's in right in here. But fairly gently because it can be a very painful area. Right? And Dave's definitely got some tension in there. So again, mostly what I want to do is bring awareness to the tension and let him breathe it out. And sometimes I'll follow that tension up towards the upper jaw and sometimes I'll follow it towards the lower jaw. And always I'm doing things like circular rotations with my fingers and coming right up into here. And again, letting him breathe because that can stir up a lot. So just let him catch his breath. And again, just coming in. This time I'm working more on the left side. And again, there's a particular point here that's very tight. But again, it's not about, ooh, how hard should I go in there? It's about bringing awareness to it and letting him breathe it out. Because this is an area where um, if you go too hard, people will just tighten up against you and it'll completely wreck your bridge of trust. Right. Yeah. Air on the side of caution. Yeah. Okay. And just sense, you know, who they are. Obviously, I've worked on, I haven't worked on Dave for a few years, but I have worked on him and he's a teacher and things like that. So, you know, but still. Yeah, you do learn people the more you kind right. of work on them. Right. That's definitely. right. Yeah. yeah. But it's always the first one, isn't it? Really? It's always the first one. I call it the, to <laughs> the toing and the froing. Yeah. Because you're sort of, <laughs> went a little bit too hard there. <laughs> you don't know them. Oh, this is good. It's starting to let go, but it's quite locked up in there. And that, again, is going to be one of the things that, why I like to do this early on in the piece is because I want this open. Like, if I'm going to work on his belly, I'm going to work anywhere. I want the flow of energy just to come out. I don't want him to have a tight jaw because what that's going to do is, is trap everything. Okay? So what I can do is just open his jaw a little bit more, hold that open, and then gently come into here. Oh, he's got this one band right in here that's stubborn. Yeah, very tight there. And that may be held through here. So it may give me a suspicion that this is held here, this is held here, and I may not release that just through doing his head. But it gives me a good diagnosis 
that his thumb is probably tight. Yeah. yeah. And it's just on that side you feel that tight band. Well, no, it's tight on this side as well. I just haven't worked it as much, but I can. I know it's tight right in here. Do you mind if I feel it? Sure, go ahead. Right there. In there. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. And it, it, it's almost not letting go from me doing his. So I'm thinking, okay, I got to do his thumbs, get that jaw loose, mm -hmm. and it's both sides. He's got it on this side too, where it's just. Yeah. You're welcome to feel this side if you're wanting to. So that's a key diagnostic area as well, mm -hmm. as well as treatment I'm diagnosing. And cause so what I'm doing, rather than trying to force it, I'm trying to go, I call it coaxing it, you know, trying to encourage it to let go. Um, but if it's not, then it's held somewhere else. And I'll just have to go, that'll be part of my treatment plan, okay? Um, is, okay, I gotta do his thumbs, yeah. right? And that's already, the, so that's high up on my agenda. And then we think about what job he does and he does massage. So. We think, yeah, to every, every massage therapist has tight thumbs. <laughs> right? So I'm just going to come and do a bit more up here. And the jaw, this point here and this point here are very, very related. Okay, so a large part of the holding in the head comes from here. And then, like I say, it's coming from the, the, here as well, which will then hold the neck. So when it comes, you know, some of you guys were questioning about... Uh, you know, cervical manipulations and things like that. Well, we need to feel how tight the person's neck is before we even think about doing that. Because if it's very, very tight, it's dangerous to do because it's the soft tissue where most people get injured from a neck. It's the, it's the blood vessels that can be burst and it's also muscle strains that can happen. Um, this is really eased off since you popped into my jaw. This is a lot less painful. A lot less painful, yeah. yeah. So what I'm thinking is like, okay, we, we do his thumb and then we come back to here. You know, that's where my thoughts are, are going at the moment. But I also just want to have a quick feel like in this area here. And he's very tight up there as well. Yeah. Part 2504. <laughs> <laughs> And I do feel some vertebrae feel like they're out up there as well. So, so my goal is also, I don't really feel like doing his neck too much, like a, a cervical manipulation yet. I feel like I want to do his thumbs first. Um, so I'm going to just have a quick feel of his belly, though, before I get into that. But in my plan, I'm like, let's get these thumbs, let's get that jaw. Because even before I do his feet, I want that jaw open more so that whatever's in his feet can come out. Otherwise, if I push energy up through here, it's going to get stuck. It's going to stop. So, but he is already one thing. Like I said before, he's already a good breather. So I'm not having to do too much assisted belly breathing. That's right. That's right. That's right. And some people yeah. never. I you know, that's, yeah, and while he's doing that, that's where you do assisted belly breathing, yeah. and you're pushing gently. Again, you don't want somebody tightening up against you. Okay, so you have to have a soft wrist here. Okay, it's not like do do do. It's done like in a kind of, and you're you're feeling. Yeah, but even a little bit sometimes less strong than needing, so that you're not hitting resistance, and you're building, you're keeping the bridge of trust because. People feel very vulnerable sometimes. Yeah. It's an emotional area. All right? So you need to keep that bridge of trust. And, and rhythmical, predictable movements will help that. So not some sort of, ooh, ooh, do, ooh, ooh, ooh. you know, that stuff's going to make people go, whoa, what are you doing? Yeah. Right? But if you're just doing the same thing, he's in a nice, relaxed frame of mind. You know, could be more, but the same pressure. Same pressure or a 5% increase, not a 20%, you know, as it goes. As it goes. But he's, he, that's, I'm, 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 I'm okay with, with what's going on. I can feel something going on in here, and immediately you can see that. Yeah, and, and that's coming from, that's definitely coming from his big toe, okay? So, so but I'm, I'm wanting, my first priority, I think, is this arm, okay? And then that arm, and then his legs. 
And, and as a first overall, you know, because I'm doing a bit of general, I'll do a bit of general treatment today, um, rather than, you know, really get stuck into, into like a toe. I might get stuck into his thumbs if I got, you know, we'll go to lunch or something. So I got a bit of time. Um, so that's, that's my plan. First of all, I've got him into that space, getting to do a bit of breathing. Now I'm going to do his thumb, but I might just have a quick lube break.